Ed, you also really love post-game press conferences where the coaches just spout out things <laughs> like they are who we thought they were. Well, Correct. you know, that thing. Well, that's that's been going on from since, uh, I mean, even before uh, Woody Hayes, you know. <laughs> By the way, remember Chris Farley? Yes. <laughs> well, you know, Chris and I, we had the same manager. Chris was a sweet sweetheart of a guy. You know, it's no secret that he had a few demons. One day I was talking to him, and remember that bit he did on Saturday Night Live about the motivational speaker who lives down by the river? <laughs> Matt Foley. You Matt know Foley. What, that, he did that with David Spade and the girl that played my daughter on uh, Married with Children, Christina Applegate. And it was the, the setup was the parents hired this guy to come in and give their two kids, Spade and Applegate, a motivational talk because they were caught smoking dope or something. And his character was that he was a motivational speaker who lived down by the river. <laughs> it's one of the funniest things you'll ever see. So you got to Google it. Chris Farley, motivational speaker. And he'd say, he'd sound like this. Because uh, uh, I'm a motivational speaker who lives down by the river. <laughs> and, and so I was with him at a party and I said... Oh, you think you're smart, Mr. Smarty Pants? Well, you just wait and see what's going to happen to you from smoking those doobies. <laughs> and I'm sitting with him, and I said to him one day, I know who you're imitating. He looked at me like, what? I said, I know who you're imitating. He said, get, get out of here, who? I said, Woody Hayes. He said, you son of a... <laughs> That's how Woody Hayes talked. <laughs> you know what? Can I tell you one other funny story about love about uh, Chris? We were all in at John Lovett's house. He had a Super Bowl so party. He this. lived in, in uh, Beverly Glen, and so you know, we're, he had a Mexican uh, buffet, and everybody's piling on because the kickoff's going to happen in the screening room. And at the last minute, Farley comes bursting in the door, and he's late, you know, as usual. And he was coming from rehab in Venice. And they let him out for the Super Bowl. So he runs in, gets a plate, he's piling stuff on the plate, and Lovett says to him, you know, like kidding him, like, leave something for the rest of us, you know. <laughs> and then we all go in to watch the kickoff, and he's not in yet. So like one or two plays, the door opens. Chris comes walking in the door, stops in the doorway, and he's holding. He got a like a loaf of Italian bread and cut it lengthwise, and then he put every condiment that was on the table on in the bread. You know everything: mushrooms, onions, carrots, capers, everything, on top of John Lovett's beloved kitten. And he had it between the bread and said, "I'll eat any." I want to on Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> so he put a real cat on a roll? You know, in, the, in the bread. A live animal. A live cat. <laughs> I mean, you know, come on, man. You, I was laughing so hard, I, I almost fell out of the chair. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I just spit mimosa over my entire <laughs> set. TJ, I love TJ Farley. just. I love Farley. Farley oh, was, man. He was a special guy. Holy and God. all those guys, Spade, all those guys, you know. <laughs> and I never said a word when I was around those guys because they were, they were always trying out comic bits on me. I mean, th I, I feel like I just want to just be quiet and let you tell more stories. We could just change the name of the show to Hollywood Stories, Chris Brockman said, yeah. right? Exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Hollywood hey, listen, stories. I'm happy to have done a little bit here this morning. Uh, so what's up? Uh, is that it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. No, absolutely no, no. not. <laughs> we can just sit here and do this all day. I can put my feet up. You can just keep talking. Tell me, no, tell me another story that has to do with John Lovitz, a live kitten, and a loaf of bread. I'm begging you. Oh, my God.